always a treat, always an honor, and always a privilege to be able to be involved with this great air show. Now, look, on the takeoff roll, the gentleman's name is Kevin Coleman, and I want you to keep your eyes on this guy as he flies a very, very powerful airplane. And as we welcome to our show, my good buddy, Dax Warmless. Good morning, Dax. All right, how's everybody doing today? All right, well, you are about to see something very exciting. If you look high at Show Center, you're going to see a red and green airplane. That is flown by none other than Mr. Kevin Coleman. As you heard from Rob a little bit earlier, Kevin is only 22 years old. That's right, he started flying at the age of 10. His instructor, his very first instructor, was a world-renowned air show performer, Mr. Marion Cole. He's been coached by some of the likes of Sean D. Tucker, Mike Julian, Bill Stein. So this kid has been taught by some of the world's best, absolute very best. And just a minute, what, what Kevin's going to do right now for you this morning is we call it a little teaser. He's going to go up, get himself warmed up, get the airplane warmed up, and then we're going to do the full show a little bit later this afternoon. But these airplanes are so high performance, it's always good to do a morning check. So he's got the smoke on, and in just a minute, he's going to be diving in here, and he's going to demonstrate what this airplane will do. He's going to be flying at speeds of over 275 miles an hour, and he's going to endure a punishing 10 positive Gs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's look high and to the right. Diving in, ladies and gentlemen, demonstrating the roll rate. At over 420 degrees per second, I give you Mr. Kevin Coleman. Now, this aircraft is powered by a light foaming AEIO 580 engine. It cranks out over 400 horsepower. As you see Kevin tumbling the airplane back up towards the sky. He likes to call this the pop top. He tops, pops it off at the top of the west and back down towards the runway. Here we go. Now, when, you, when we're talking about G's, we're talking about the forces of gravity. It's Kevin back hard on the stick right here. He's experiencing about 10 G's. Let's make the math simple for myself. Kevin weighs 200 pounds. That means there's Kevin pulls 10 G's. Doing this, and he weighs over 2,000 pounds. All right, ladies and gentlemen, camera's ready. He's going to park the airplane for you. Right there, using the torque of the motor, he actually flies the airplane backwards. Ladies and gentlemen, this is called the Torbo. Now, Kevin also does something very special. He's got a program set up. Let's go to KevinColemanAerosports.com learn all about this scholarship. He wants to actually get young people involved in aviation, whether it's flying, maintenance, maintenance, whatever you like to do. Kevin wants to help you out. So go to KevinColemanAerosports.com. And ladies and gentlemen, look at him as he defies the laws of physics with the shockwave tumbling his nose over tail, tail over nose. Now, you look at the airplane, you say, how does it fly like that? You actually use the propeller. The propeller helps you. It's called gyroscopic precession. You have something that rotates in a disc. You put an input in, it actually reacts 90 degrees to the direction of rotation. As he demonstrates his new maneuver called the Louisiana left left. That's right, Louisiana. Kevin comes from Cachata, Louisiana. He's actually still in college. We have to try to make it back for school on Monday at Louisiana Tech. And he dives back in. Here we go. Ooh, to the inverted. Checking those seat belts out. Had to go for staring out the news. And as I said before, this is just a warm up for Kevin. You're going to see a full hardcore routine. He's actually going to turn this airplane into a helicopter. That's right. It's going to balance it on the beautiful Hartzell propeller. Now, this aircraft is actually a steel tubing fuselage with, you can get this, it's a fabric cover. That's a nice fabric. But it also has carbon fiber wings. Very strong, very lightweight, perfect for what Kevin's doing here today. This airplane weighs about 1,200 pounds. Now, what you just 
stock can roll the airplane upside down. We're talking about positive G's before there's also negative G's. Now, positive G's got to squeeze those legs, get the blood back up to the head. In a, in a negative configuration, you actually have to relax. If you get too much blood to the head, you can actually do what's called red out. Now, Kevin looks like he's just completed his little warm-up practice. We're going to see you a little bit later this afternoon. We would like to go to KevinColemanAerosports.com tonight. Check us out. You can also follow our adventures along with us on Facebook. See what's going on with us this year. And I check with my good buddy here, Mr. Rob Ryder. We're going to hand it back to Rob Ryder. In just a minute, we're going to see Bill Left flying the beautiful T6. Yes, indeed, Dax Wanless. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a big round of applause for Dax Wanless and, of course, the man in the air in that green German built extra 300. And what about 300 which? Yes. 300 S with that AE 580 engine built in Williamsport. Pennsylvania at Lycoming, that Thunderbolt engine, right? That's absolutely right, Rob. Uh, that engine is specially built for this airplane. It has 10 to 1 pistons in it. It cranks out over 400 horsepower. That's incredible. Dax, we'll see you a little bit later on. Thanks, partner, very, very much. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Kevin Coleman. Now, we go from one of the most agile aircraft that was ever built. For years, the biplane ruled aerobatic competition, but it was the development of these lightweight composite materials that were very strong, very lightweight, that 